Welcome back to the third lesson. For this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to bounce a hard ball, a, bo uh, a bowling ball. So this one that we have here currently is a rubbery ball, but a ball made of rubber or some type of elastic. And as you can see, it stretches when it comes down. But the next one, let's go ahead and make a new layer. This is another feature you're going to learn here. There's a little button down here. Let me zoom up to that. If you look at the very corner over here, there's a plus sign. And this plus sign, when we click it, it will give us this window here. And when we see this window, make sure you stay on drawing, because there's a lot of other stuff we'll talk about on other tutorials in the future. But we're going to stay here. Now, we're, we don't want to call it get, getting started. We want to call this bowling ball. All right. And press OK. Now we need to zoom out here. OK, so let's see what happened. Over here we have a bowling ball. Over here we have a ball. Over here we have a bowling ball with nothing on it. And over here we have the ball. Now I'm going to turn the check. I'm going to go over here to bowling ball. And I'm going to turn this check off. OK, now notice I got on that layer. OK, got on that layer, but I turned the check off over here. Now, if you get on it, you'll, you'll see it. But it is off. Don't mind that it, you can see it when you're on it. But just know that it's off because you have checked it off. OK? Now, let's, and don't worry that it's over here. Just leave it alone. All right, go ahead and take this first picture, first frame. OK, get on the first frame. Get your brush tool. Let's get the black color that we see there and now let's go right up here in fact let's make this one bounce right about this area and so I'm going to draw it right there I'm going to take the paint bucket and actually I'm not going to take the paint bucket I'm just going to let it be for just a second and get the paintbrush again and my bowling ball didn't come out perfect it doesn't matter this is just for quick learning and I'm going to advance to the next frame by clicking the letter S now, I don't have my onion skins on, so I'm going to turn those on and go to the previous three drawings so I can see multiple drawings as I'm coming down through. And this drawing, we're going to try to draw it up more or less the same. Now, Control-Z if it didn't look right. Okay, now if you want this ball to drop fast, you don't want it this close. So go ahead and click on it with your Move tool, all right, and just move it down. All right, you want it to drop fast. The distance between here needs to be larger. If it's close like this, it's going to go really slow. Like that, it's going to play quickly, all right, when we push the uh, play button up here. All right, so let's take the paintbrush. Let's go to the next frame. And let's keep these perfectly straight because this is a heavy ball, and it's going to stay straight. And let's put the next one maybe right about here, okay? And so I'm going to go back to the previous frame. And I'm going to move that one just slightly up. In fact, I want to see previous drawing on my forward drawings. Okay, this is back and this is forward. So I can keep them evenly spaced by looking at all of this. In fact, I can move this up a little bit more. Go to the next frame and move this one up a little bit more. Okay, and then grab my drawing brush. Go to the next frame and maybe put this last one right there. In fact, let me do that again. All right, so if it doesn't look exactly the same size, you can control Z over and over until you get it the right size. Now, this is not good. All right, this, this setup is not good. We need to space these out. So let me go back, click on this move tool or select tool, move this up here a little bit. Go to this one. Let's move this one right about here, and that one will be good right about there. Okay, you could move them up a little bit more, but let's just leave it for now and continue on to the next frame on the next frame grab the brush make sure you keep the black color this ball's going to bounce back up pretty hard so let, why don't we put it right here whoops put it right here between these two go to the next frame and now let's put it right here whoops a little small and then now let's bring it back down a little bit more Okay, let's, this time, this is the one we're looking at, so let's go right about here. And this time, I'm starting to move the ball in that direction. Notice it, okay, just slightly. Control Z, undo the arrows there. Go to the next frame, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and 
whoops, control Z and undo that, and I'm going to touch this ball more or less down here where it was at. One more time, continue, letter S, go forward, and this time I'm going to pick, whoops, uh, let's draw this right about here. What I did was I press control S and it wants to save it, but I keep canceling it because I'm not saving it yet, even though I recommend you save your work often. Okay, and then go to the next frame and then maybe it hit right about here. Next frame, right about here. Uh, let me do it again. Next frame, right about there and there. Oops. There and whoops. Go forward one frame and stop right about there. Notice we went longer than the other bouncing ball. Don't worry about that. Go ahead and rewind it. Let's take the onion skins off and play it. All right. So let's undo this loop so we can see this. Rewind it and now watch. This is a very heavy ball. It's going to hit here, bounce, and then roll away. All right? Notice there's no elasticity. It's not a rubber ball, so it's hitting very hard like a marble would, like a heavy bowling ball. So you can teach your children the difference between these animations or let them teach you, teach your peers. So this is now critical thinking skills. What's the difference between this animation? Okay. All right. And see how, and let your students explain to each other what's going on there. Let them research this information. All right. This concludes this tutorial. Make sure that you practice doing the bowling ball. I mean, if you want to take a few minutes and actually go back in there and color it gray, I recommend that you go to the very first frame, color it, and then just use the letter S like I've done here. And it's not hard at all. It's very simple. Push play, and there you go. Okay, thank you. Go on to the next tutorial where I will teach you some simple concepts about character design.